we had to get out of the box, not to think outside the box, but get out of the box and try really creative ways to get the information out there. Um, our staff can no longer go to camp where there's 500 guys living in a camp. You know, we could get one person sick and then they could all get sick or the other way around. And so the same thing with the families. So we've come up with a few things that I'm going to um, share with you guys. We do a food distribution every two weeks, and we invite 200 people, and we usually have food for about 250 because we know more people will show up. Um, the first time that we did it, there was a two-mile line waiting of people waiting. Um, it was very overwhelming. So by the second time we did it, we came up with a system where, you know, we get people to park in different uh, lines and wait for their turn. So why not take advantage of that captive audience, bored people literally waiting for food? So what we did, we purchased a grabber, one of those things you see in the movies where like people are like picking trash with it or something. We purchased that and when people get to the ministry, they roll down the window and we put all of our printed materials inside of a plastic bag. We put it in the grabber and then we deliver it through the <laughs> through the window so that we can keep six feet away between our staff and the, the families. And the families are bored, so they um, obviously park their cars and then they read the materials, which is great. We also put together these um, signs that have very direct messages like, hey, while you wait, call this number and fill out the census. While you wait, sign up for our text messages to send a message to this number and sign up. Or if you're having problems at work, this is the phone number for legal aid. Save it on your cell phone. So different things like that um, have really worked for us. Um, we also have like a program that allows us to send text messages to many people at a time. So we keep in touch with people that way. And we've also told our outreach workers that since they can't go visit people um, in person, that they can call people. We have over a thousand phone numbers for families in the community so just you know you wouldn't believe how grateful and how happy people are to get a phone call to know that somebody cares about them um of course this is in addition to like social media and our website and i just want to say there's a lot of misinformation that people in the latino community are getting on whatsapp and facebook so having a central spot where you can tell them anything that we post on our social media you can trust um, that will be really, really helpful. And also using creativity. Like if you go on our Facebook page, our community members are making videos, teaching each other skills. So we had Alison and Jair, their uh, young person and her little brother, and she's teaching him how to wash his hands. And we made it so that if anybody wants to post a video of themselves teaching their kids how to wash their hands, they can participate in a $35 raffle. So community members know things that they can share with others, and we can just be the vehicle to make that happen.